Well, in a world of sometimes confusing paddle names, the Lux kind of speaks to how the paddle feels when you're playing it. I like that you get uh, luxury out of it too. Yeah, like you sit in a luxury car, I get kind of that same, same kind of feel with the paddle, which is nice. That little short hop, put me right here. Take that. <laughs> He's got a, oh, he tries for the overhead. Love it. Right away, you feel like the ball's going where you want it to go, right? Having no problems with those soft dinks, landing them right in the kitchen. And I'm just so impressed that on a ball like a short hop where you're really relying on the paddle to do so much of the work, because you're just putting it down there, and to see the ball react, gets over the net, stays in the kitchen, isn't popping up, that, that's nice to have that right out of the box. I'm not feeling like I'm losing control of the ball on these attacks either. They're coming right up the net, able, easy to extend. I like that, a third shot drop. Can we bring that back in the game? A little third shot drop as opposed to a third shot drive? It's a good reminder that placing the ball uh, can make for some pretty fun rallies. It feels like it's control oriented, but not going so far that it, there's nothing else. Loving these serves as well, able to keep it nice and low, drive nice. it to the back court. Again, I'm not having to swing too hard, which I have a problem with some of these other control paddles, which I appreciate at the kitchen. I'm focused on my dink game, I need a nice soft paddle, but struggle from the back line, not having any problems with this paddle. I do love the freedom to swing out. You're getting a ton of dip on those balls, Joseph. Yeah, without the fear that the ball's gonna fly out the back so much, that I maybe had with some more powerful paddles. This one you feel like you can brush up on the ball as much as you want without the fear of it just blasting. Even though it's coming with, with pace, I'm not worried about over hitting it. I'm able to control it and not have it just fly up. Well, you see like a, a tennis player like Jack Sock is used to big strokes and shaping the ball. Might like to be able to transition with a paddle like this that lets them keep some of that stroke instead of tightening it up so much like you have to do with some of those really powerful paddles on the market. That makes sense, didn't even think about that. Freedom piece. So you're saying it's a Braveheart paddle. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs>